Could I die? Hmm. Could something go wrong? Could I lose my eyebrows? Eric from South Hello. London. How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> Repping the UK in Jackass Forever, which we're very happy about. Tell me though, growing up, were you the guy who always was showing off his friends, doing the stupid things, wanting to be entertained? Was that you? No, it was definitely me. I got in a lot of trouble at school, just simply from jumping off things and riding my skateboard down the steps. And I was like, Eric, one day you're just going to die. <laughs> um, so they pretty much did, uh, did go, you're a bit crazy. But to yeah. be you know, offered an opportunity to be part of something that is even crazier than me, it's such a blessing. <laughs> Did you have any fear going into this? I did, yeah. I, I was, um, you know, when you sign a contract, that's like a health and safety, uh, um, health and safety thing. Um, I, I did read it and I go, could I die? Hmm, could something go wrong? Could I lose my eyebrows? But um, for the most part, nothing that crazy happened. You know, we did get a few bruises. The yeah. first bruises I saw on my skin ever in multiple places. You worked with Johnny before though on Action Points. So how yeah. different an experience was this for you? Oh gosh, it was so sick and what's so beautiful about Johnny and Chris as well. Chris Pontius was in um, Action Point and they are completely themselves. They're completely humble beings. They're so lovely and just so communicative in the way they speak and address certain things. It was really nice working with them and for my first time it being you know, a feature film and a film that huge as well. Like they really, really ushered me into it carefully and you know, gave me the right advice into how to go about this scene and how to do this kind of thing. And when I had my stunts as a nerd, you know, make it look uh, less crazy, make it look like you're more fearful. So I was like, oh, okay. Also the aspect of this being the last one that Johnny will do is such a heartbreak to me. Yeah. And I could completely understand why you know, how much pain he's gone through, how much pain I've seen. Um, I also don't want him to get more hurt. <laughs> I can I can understand that. Let's let him live out the rest of his life yeah, exactly, in, in exactly. some kind of comfort. Yeah. Uh, but, but for you, you're at the kind of start of this career for you. So where do you see it going? Is it mm. acting and serious roles or is it these stunts or where, what do you want it to be? You know what? That's a great question because I really do love the sort of the aspects of every medium. You know, I love being behind the camera and in front of the camera and just being able to explore creatively is just the biggest dream I have, you know, to be part of this and prior to this being part in a really serious role. So as myself and as a character, it has showed like myself, you know, what I'm able to do. And I'm just looking forward to so much. I'd love to work with Spike again. He's He's like been one of my childhood heroes for years. I watched her, you know, I watched videos with Far Side that he did in reverse and stuff like that. And like, when all this started clicking together, and I was like, wow. So I get to work with a house of people who are really all rounded. It's just such a blessing. It really is the sickest experience.